Welcome back to my channel. This story was penned by Terenji at Core. According to a charging document, Wang on June 5, 2020, authorized a wire transfer of $100 million from GTV's parent company, Soraka Media Group Inc., to a high-risk hedge fund for the benefit of Soraka and its ultimate beneficial owner, Wu's son. Prosecutors said the $100 million consisted of investor funds obtained through fraudulent claims. During her plea, Wang said she knew what I was doing was wrong. She added, I take full responsibility and I'm very sorry for my actions, your honor. Guo was once believed to be among the richest people in China. In 2014, he left during an anti-corruption crackdown led by President Xi Jinping that ensnared people close to Guo, including a top intelligence official. Since then, he has been highly sought by that nation's government, relying on the US for protection as Chinese authorities accused him of rape, kidnapping, bribery, and other offenses. He has long argued that the, those claims were false, saying they were meant to punish him for publicly outing corruption there and criticizing key Communist Party figures. Yvette Wang, former chief of staff to Chinese businessman Guo Wengue, confessed on Friday to colluding with him in a colossal fraud scheme, defrauding numerous investors of over $1 billion. Wang, 45, admitted guilt to wire fraud and money laundering charges in a Manhattan federal court, just ahead of her trial alongside Guo. She has been in custody since their arrest in March 2023 and faces a potential 10-year prison sentence upon sentencing. U.S. attorney Damian Williams emphasized accountability, stating Wang would face consequences for the harm inflicted. Wang's lawyer did not provide a comment. Guo, also known as Ho Wan Kwok and Miles Kwok, awaits trial for fraud charges related to a media company and cryptocurrency ventures. He has remained incarcerated since his arrest in 2023. The indictment alleges Guo exploited his extensive online presence and large following, promising exaggerated returns to finance his extravagant lifestyle. Wang's guilty plea reveals involvement in fraudulent activities, including soliciting funds through entities like GTV Media Group and Himalaya Exchange. The case highlights the nexus between high-profile figures and financial malpractice, with Guo's association with former U.S. President Donald Trump's advisor Steve Bannon adding to its complexity. As Wang's admission shines a light on the fraudulent scheme's inner workings, anticipation builds for Guo's upcoming trial in May. The legal proceedings underscore the consequences of financial deceit and the importance of holding perpetrators accountable, especially in cases involving substantial monetary losses. The verdicts expected in Wang's and Guo's trials will provide clarity on the extent of their involvement and the justice system's response to their actions. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content. Please support my channel by sending it to Cash App Dollar Director 327. Thank you for your gift, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.